Welcome in Stalker Anomaly with the Gamma Mod running. I know this is a little bit off. I have been playing this game for a little bit of time. You're not coming into this um, at the very beginning of this game. I This save file that I've been on has been in for a little bit, but I have been falling in love with this Gamma Mod. It is so fantastic. There's something about it that has just sucked up my entire life and I cannot get away from it. So the original Stalker game, Shadows of Chernobyl, came out in 2007 with Clear Skies in 2008 and Call of Pripyat in 2010. But it was, it was different. It was a whole nother time ago. And Stalker Anomaly was an overhaul, a full on overhaul that you could get right now online for free. And it combined all of the different Stalker games, the three Stalker games that they had, and gave it a graphical update and a little bit of an overhaul that it was absolutely needed. It was really cool because you could just play through all the stories and succession and it was all nice and neat. Well, the Gamma Mod came out and what this Gamma Mod did is it basically took Stalker and made it a survival game with these elements of you know, repeatable quests and things of that nature. And so what this, yeah, to you too. Jesus, calm down. This game has this really interesting way of keeping you involved in the stalker universe and continuing to play the game. So right now we're out in Rostock and uh, we've been collecting some missions and getting some things set up. We want to, we're going to go over here and take out these group of stalkers that we've been given a mission for. So again, stalker map, it's massive. It's huge. There's so many places to go, but the way that it works is that you're just going to keep getting missions and they're just going to send you out to help out, you know, different locations, depending on what factions you end up uh, siding with will determine, you know, where your reputation goes and what type of gear you can buy. In the original Stalker games, you would, you know, be able to buy from traders and whatnot. But this game has it so there isn't a, there isn't a way for you to buy weapons. You have to actually find weapons in the game and break them down for each individual part. And then rebuild your weapons back up so you have high quality stuff. And then you have to, you know, continue to find specific uh, items to make stronger, more better items later down the road. There's the guys we need to be fighting. Let's see if we can pick them off from a distance. me not hit you what's going on here let's get up a little bit closer We're too close to that anomaly Ugh. just give him the leg here Slow him down. Oh, I think we got him on that one. Okay, we got him there. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can push it. Oh my god, no! They killed our guy! Got him. Oh, you dumb son of a bitch. What were you doing out here? Take some of his loot. 
So this is what I mean. We have these weapons here and we can't sell them. So we would disassemble them and they would give us parts. And depending on what type of parts we would have, we can utilize to craft and make better weapons or upgrade our stuff. Uh, I'll take those. Let's stay here. This mission still isn't done, so we need to be careful. Oh. Oh, God. Got to reload. Weapons will jam. And that's our mission. We're done with it. So we can field strip this apart. And we can take apart all these things and, and save ourselves a little bit. We want to remove that gas chamber. We'll take that. We can detach the suppressor. We don't always want to take everything that's on there because, I mean, the fact that um, gear in itself is... It, most things that you're going to find on bodies is going to be pretty low quality. Ooh. I think we have one of those back at the house. Let's take that just for the time being. No wonder I got ripped. I only, I usually only try and take stuff that's upwards of, you know, 100%. Um, or anything over at least 60%. Because if not, you're just filling up your, your inventory with so much shit that you, you're not going to use. And there's some shooting over here. And it's the cool thing about the way that this works for the anomaly or for anomaly and gamma is that like you can just randomly get into crazy fights for no reason, you know, just some you just hear something going on and you know, we're going to we're going to go and check it out. Now there was a call earlier said there were some mutants around, so we need to pay attention to that. That might be what these shots are going on with these shots the way the game also works too is the only way that you're able to save is if you find yourself these bonfires <laughs> they're everywhere but once you light them you're able to save the game some way that people have been playing this has been that there is a permadeath setting so what you can do is you can set up and if you die that's it your character gets deleted so it's how long you survive as an actual stalker um, but I am not great at the game, so I have been playing with that off. I also was having issues with some graphical things, so I've turned down a little bit of extra graphical um, quality. I mean, the game still looks beautiful compared to what it used to, but there's there's a little bit of screen tear and a little bit of awfulness. I'm sure if my rig was upgraded just a little bit more, it wouldn't be so bad. And then when you complete missions for people, what you do is you end up getting these stashes. So on the mini map down to the bottom right, you'll see that there's these little white icons. And those are stashes from where other stalkers have stored items. Oh, it might be in there. And that's how you're going to find different types of loot. Ooh. Screen going block, uh, fading like that could very well be a poltergeist. No, it's not up here. What the hell is it? No, there's no way underneath. Ah, there's an anomaly. So you have to pay attention to that because they are everywhere. Good thing the NPCs are set up. They don't trigger anomalies, which are nice because they would end up dying. But in the game, you know, there's different anomalies. So we can, you'll see different types of things. There's, there's fire anomalies. There's ones that'll pick you up and throw you all over the place. I just want to find this fucking stash. Now I have noticed because the game randomly sets up stashes in different locations and has different uh, missions that completely 
reload. Sometimes you just don't find the stashes you're looking for. Like sometimes they just don't spawn, which is all right. Like over in that building, I have another stash. I I hunted and I cannot find it anywhere. So bummer. I was trying to show you that stash, but you know the game is what it is. It's it's. This is a com this overhaul. First off, it's free. You can completely download this overhaul online right now for free and it's all put together by a group of people in the communities which is phenomenal you know so there's a sense of there's going to be some issues not only that but they took a game that is over 15 years old and uh, gave it love and attention that it really needed and I feel like this right before Stalker 2 comes out I mean it's just such a such an interesting point Let's see. There we go. Oof. Oh. Got one. Got that. Okay, we're bleeding. I gotta heal up real quick. Whatever you do, sir, just don't worry. You don't need to shoot a single thing. Can I give you the sniper rifle we picked up? Here, how about this? Take, take this. Can you can you shoot some people with that? That'd be cool. I'd appreciate that. All right. Oh, he's up here. Get out of my way! I hear him. They're downstairs. Oh, there he is. Gonna reload the shotgun. It's a perfect time. Can I get an angle on him? You bitch. Ah, yeah. All right, let's see what this guy had. God, a little gurgly over there. This is not bad. It's pretty broken. We'd have to upgrade it. All right, so let's see. Where are we at? Where. We don't want to do any of these missions. I joined the military, and the military is a little bit psychotic. Uh, this guy is just like all the people that we've been helping throughout the whole game. He's now decided he's just like, hey, I need you to go and just murder these people for fun. Um, and I'm not a big fan of that one right now. We will go up here. Where is this? Is this, yeah, Army Warehouse? We'll go around, run around Army Warehouse and see if we can find anyone in that area. Some of the cool things that this game does have too is it has the ability for you to you can kind of make your own little bases and areas around uh the map where you can you know set things up i personally like to have everything next to a trader so that way i don't have to go and hunt for things um in each of the main cities you can find traders everywhere so in oh, this yeah. area here, we have traders. This guy here will sell us equipment that will be we can use to upgrade our stuff. So we can take a look. Oh, he's selling, you know, these type of items. And by leveling up, doing missions for the the this faction will help level up their supply chain. So you'll end up getting more and more quality items. Um, I tried setting up a base on the outside and then just like trying to get back to it is just a pain in the ass. Different ammo types is good for different types of people. You know, if you're going to be fighting against Monolith or, um, you know, other military members, or other stalkers, you want to be using the AP ammo as well. If you go and fight mutants, you know, standard stuff is, is pretty good. 
There's a day and night cycle. There's anomalies you got to worry about. If you're out in an anomaly storm, it uh, it can be quite brutal. Let's see if we can get this dog. There's usually more than one. Yeah, there's... Oh, here, here's one. You loot and harvest animals and then, you know, craft food. Like, we have dog food here that's better. It gives us increased weight carrying and stamina recovery. So you end up, you know, wanting to kill specific mutants. You can get their meat and then craft better food that will allow you to um, have, you know, different effects to it. It's just a really, really intense, interesting game. It's got a lot to it. Watch out for that anomaly. I don't know what happened to our friend. I don't know if we left him behind or he died. Oh. Shit. It's popping off over here. I don't see anyone yet. Usually bandits roam this area. I got bandits. Let's see if we can. Probably fighting some mutants over here. There's a dead one on the ground. Hope oh, I see you. Oh. oh, that was one of our guys. It's a freedom fighter. Okay. So get in a little bit closer. That's our bud. What are you shooting at down there? Oh, there's a dog. Ow! Fucking cat. Alright, well you you look pretty chill, so heal up a little bit. Let's go get our cat food. You always want to take all of the ammo because even if you're not going to use it, you never know when you might run into a weapon that um, you can use. Okay, so these are interesting. So these are these are anomaly. Is this a bandit? Oh, shit. Close. Nope, that's them. So these types of anomalies themselves, will, no, there's, hi, how you doing? Uh, certain anomalies, you can find these and you can craft into different items that you can sock it into your gear and they will give you specific buffs to have, which is fucking super cool. You can make builds super crazy. Where was they shooting this guy at? So down here, there's a small safe. We're gonna set this waypoint. This is where we need to go. I'm sure there's gonna be a shit ton of guys if they respawn. I cleared this area out earlier, but I don't know if we wanna head up to this spot. There's people running around. All right, we'll head on down and see what we can find. We'll eat our dog food and get a little bit of stamina recovery. It's getting nice and fed. Ooh, 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 who's shooting at us? Well, the one? Just one. Have a good on that. There's a weight system down in the game, so depending on how much... how much you're carrying and how much you try and carry with you will determine your... Oh, we're not far from this one. Let's Let's peel up real quick. We can go get this one first and check out 
Wants me to see if I can succeed. Okay, so there's gonna be people here we need to be prepared for. Let's peel up the hill. Get a better angle. Reload. Depending on who you side with and who you fight will... You know, you can ruin your reputation with people and they'll end up trying to fight you just by walking into their areas. Siding with the military was important because there was, at least for me, um, there you are. Oh no, that's not you. That's a piece of wood. Um, allowed us to get through checkpoints without having to fight everything that was there. And the military guys are, they are powerful. So, where'd this guy go? Oh, there you are. Down. Where? You're shooting from inside the house? The call's coming from inside the house. Oh, he is. Yep, yep. Okay. I can't tell what that is. I hear it. it. Sounds like just maybe a boar. I only hear the one. We might want to push up. Let's heal on the way down. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, I see you. Come on, bud. You and me, baby. Oh, fuck. There's one more. Okay, I need to swap this. Alright, that's it. I try and play it a little bit looser than I should. I think it's with the without the fear of knowing that if you die, you can just reload. But I also hold off on a lot of my reloads. I'll go for a long period of time. I mean, walking to and from locations is brutal. You can... Oh. Uh-oh. Okay, where is it? So this camp was run by friends of ours at one point, but everything is dead now, so. All right, we need to watch out. Now our, our marker might be on top. The actual loot may be inside the house if we can. Ooh, ooh that came real close. Loot might be right in here. No. It's not ours. So these green stashes that we have on our map, these are usually from like big mission rewards. These will usually have something inside of it that is necessary for uh, like stuff like this, this advanced toolkit. This is how you like make higher quality weapons. So usually you'll find better weapons overall in there. Oh, let's take that. Still got, still got plenty to work with. I can't tell what that is. I can't tell if that's just the flame anomaly making noises or if there's like a... One of those proto beast thing or whatever the hell they're called over here.
Yeah, I think there it is. I just don't see. Oh, there it is. There it is, right there. Oh, you fuck. Alright, we saved, right? <sighs> We're sleepy? Hold on, let's, let's take a caffeine pill. Oh shit, is it coming already? Oh god, it's coming! Holy shit, okay. Ooh, fuck you, big boy. That was a chimera. So whenever you find random NPCs in the world, this is the best part. You can talk to them. There's no guarantee that they will have missions for us. Hey, bud. Come here. Talk to me. Do you have any work? Okay, he wants flesh meat. So the, again, this is the randomness of it, and this is what will then give us stashes. So in, it's telling me, okay, my inventory or stashes nearby, this is what we have. We can pick this up, and if we find flesh and we get flesh meat, we can bring it back to this guy, and he'll reward us with money and, you know, different things. And at least a location for a stash. All right, well, let's let's peel back in here. I'm not gonna have any help, so we need to really be careful because we are going into the army barracks area, and this place is usually filled with hundreds and hundreds of people. Take out some of the animals on the outside over here. missed did I oh yeah maybe I got him I might have snagged him oh I did get him look at that Whoa, whoa, from where? Oh, fuck. These guys will have power armor. Oh, they're throwing grenades, too. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, he moved. Okay, I see him. We gotta pull back a little bit. Okay, we're bleeding a lot. I think I missed that guy up on the ridge. I hear him coming down. We are very oh, 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 fuck! Alright. Oof. Let's heal real quick. This is real bad. We're not in a good spot. I need, to, I need to pill up real quick. Come on, Freddy shows up. Let's reload. Gotcha. Get him. Okay, nobody's come from the compound just yet. So we got a moment of, to breathe. Jesus Christ. Oh, nope. Nope, nope, they're coming. I have a feeling we pissed off the compound and they're going to start coming up. We got to make our loot and stuff quick here. Oh man, let's take that suppressor. 
Oh, I see a guy down here. Oh, okay. So they've respawned. If we pull... Okay, if we pull this base, this is going to be a fight. I don't know if we're ready for... See if we can find a better place to peel into this. We also need to keep in mind that we need to find a location where if an anomaly comes, we're not going to be pinning ourselves against a building with a bunch of other people. Okay, the beds are here. Ooh, Chimera oh. Hunter, we'll take that. That's nice. Gunsmith tools, we'll take those. Yeah, I know, we're so tired, dude. We're so tired, bud. I know. Well, where are my night vision goggles? Oh, I must have left them back at the base. Shit. Oh, I don't even have my light. Okay, let's see what happens if I just sleep till morning. We slept for 12 hours. That's fine. Nobody ever recognized that we weren't here. Now we're just praying that nobody is, uh... Oh, game, come on. Catch up. There's also no anomaly event when we slept for 12 hours, so that means there's going to be one around here pretty soon. Okay, we need to eat. There's no way you guys are chill with me, right? Oh, I saw you. Come back outside. Oh. Oh, you take those little shots like that, huh? Pick again. Come on. I know you will. Oh, you're fucking hurting. Got you. So this is one of the things. I killed everybody in here. This is where a trader would be. Here's a workshop. This is how you would do your upgrading. So we had that advanced tools to, and then you would craft certain things. You can upgrade to make your weapons do more damage or do very specific things. Or you can put armor together where, you know, upgrading your armor will allow it to have more carry weight or be resistance against certain things. Burn resistance. Right now... And this is where you do hideout furniture. You take it with you and you can make your own stuff. We have been working on trying to get this. We cannot find expert tools to save our life. All right, we'll head down to Rostock. We'll turn in our mission here and then we'll go ahead and head down to garbage and go collect these ones and maybe we'll peel over here and turn in these missions. Okay, I made us some more. Rifle ammo for the AP. You can put all this stuff back away. We're looking pretty fat right now. We've got 120 rounds of the AP. That's huge. Let's put all this stuff away. What's this? Nine millimeter? We don't need that. Let's see. We've got our ammo with this, this. And we're, we're a little low on the, the shotgun ammo, but should be okay. We don't need any of this extra stuff. Let's go ahead and put some things away. I do need to go buy some more water, a few more meds. Let's see if you got anything juicy in here. 
I need that trigger mechanism. We're starting to get pretty low. This is looking okay. We might want to clean these up. Let's see if we have... Do we have a trigger that we can maybe swap out on this guy? Yeah, let's see. What are we looking at? Oh, yeah, here we go. Here's 100%. So, what we'll do is we'll take this. We need the rifle, army rifle, and then what we'll do is we'll come to here, the workbench, and let's, now that we have the army rifle, let's swap this bad boy. Oh, your mod is low, too. Do we have a double hammer? We do have one. Is there anything else for this guy in here? You know what? That's 100%. Let's let's buy you. We've got so much money to spend. We can do whatever we want. Let's take you and then let's get you upgraded with 100%. And then we'll put this one in here. We'll repair it nice and clean. Look at that at 100%. Oh, loving it. Love, love, love. Do we have any cleaning kits? Let's grab our rifle cleaning kits. I don't remember which one it is. Let's do take some of these. And then we can use, and this will give us a bonus based on what we use to clean it up. We can get a better clean out of the total of it. So we'll only get 90% if we do this. So that's 100% for this lube. We'll just use that so we don't waste all the extra stuff that we have. Nice and clean. Look at us. 100% condition on this. Should probably clean the shotgun too. No, Say, pal, do you want to come with me by chance? I'm gonna go, no, you don't? Okay, bye. How about you, do you want to come hang out with me? No, all right, fine, fuck you both. How about you? You look like a badass. Yeah, let's go explore. So now we have a friend. With a Weapon. All right, that's fine. We might go and give him another one from our stash. All right, what are we low on? Let's pick up the ibuprofen. Oh, you don't even sell ibuprofen right now. Why are you out of meds, sir? And then, yeah, let's heal all my wounds up. Hey, Sock, I'm a little fucked up. What are you, uh, what do you got in here? Nothing, huh? Yeah, you just got your shitty-ass weapon. We'll swap you out before we go head out. We got a couple good things you can use. Yes, sir. Job is done. Thank you. And the job is done. Thank you. Oh, the job is done. Thank you. So any work you want done? No, nope, nothing yet. Okay, that's fine. What do you got in here for me? Starting to sell night vision, huh? Look at you, man. Alright. Sir, let's go get you a weapon, then we can head on out. I'm gonna give him a pip. We'll give him the... Yeah, let's give him the AKM and see what he does with this. See if he swaps weapons. If he swaps weapons... Will you swap? No, you think your weapon is better. Okay, well then... Give me that back then. Actually, you can hold on to that for a second, because let's see if swapping to... I don't want to give you my... Well, maybe I do want to give you the big boy. Let's see. We swap to this? Oh, you will swap to that. Alright, you're going to be my sniper buddy then. That's what you're going to do. Give me back the AKM. We'll try to use only the M4 for when we come against... Actual enemies, we can use the shotgun for most of the wild animals. I don't know what the hell they're shooting at over here. Oh, I see the dog. You guys gonna do it? You need help? Can you get it?
Good shot. Do any of you guys uh, die out here? No? Somebody died. There he is. Take all that. Thank you. Goodbye. Whoa, whoa. What's everybody running from? Oh, God. I didn't realize we walked right into a bandit camp. Oh god, we got to run. Run, run, run. Okay, we're good. Oh, oh, sorry. That's my guy. There's one more. No, that's our guy. We definitely shot a friend of ours, which was an accident, but things happen. I'm not really the most trustworthy person. Alright, we'll take that mission. What? Sir, come on, man. Zombies? They are. Wow, there's a lot of them. God, there's a lot of them. This must have been a raiding party that got caught out in an anomaly. Headshots only. But are you sure you should be using the sniper yeah, rifle? Magazine. You are awful with that thing. There's some flesh over here. Actually, I need to get some flesh meat anyway. Oh shit! Anomaly's on its way. We gotta go. Holy shit. Are we gonna make it? Oh, there's boar. That's fine. We're good. We can make it. We're almost there. We gotta go. 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 Holy shit. We gotta go. Oh, we cannot get caught outside. Come on. Come on. Come on. I might lose my guy. I don't think he's anywhere near me. Ow, boar. I don't have time for this. Gentlemen, I'm bringing friends. God, we're so low. Oh God, we gotta go find our friend now too. Where's he at? I gotta figure out where he's at because we're gonna need to go and oh, come on, you can make it. Come on, you can make it. Come on, man. Come on, get in here. He's almost here, he's almost here, come on, come on. No, 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 don't worry about shooting. Come on, ignore combat, ignore combat, come on, come on. Oh God, I'm out of ammo. Just get inside. You're gonna die, man. Come on, come on, get inside, come on.
sir had me so worried there. Cats over here well, barely made doing? it in. So that was our anomaly. Oh, ow! Damn it. Oh, my boar meat. Look at this. It all stems up from that damn power plant all the way up north. This is eventually where we need to get to. All the way up here. Up in Chernobyl. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. You did good, cats. You did good. I'm really enjoying this game. I'm fully immersed and absolutely addicted. I'm loving every moment of it. If you guys enjoy this, maybe we can do more because uh, I am playing this as much in my off time as possible. Maybe we'll start a brand new run and, and start it over from scratch and see what we can do and how far we can get as a uh, permadeath series. But anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.